Alrighty, there's sound here. Let's watch this in full. Very cool. There's also a reference. So here's the original. Definitely see that you made some changes. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I watched this side by side to see where you made the changes and I really like where you deviated from the reference. So here are my thoughts. It's cool and I definitely need to review this rig. This is part of the look rig uh, that comes if you get the bundle, you get this guy for free. Now, question for you. Do you want to or would you consider involving the sound a bit more? So right now you got that explosion, gunshot, whatever. But the character just going back. Again, not that this doesn't work, just a question for you. Would you do something where maybe the character is maybe in a less, you know, some, not static pose, but something where it could be in a more engaging pose. So what if, you know, that leg would be, would be further out and there's, there's more, there's more of a, an arc to with a certain pose, like whatever it is, right? And then you can snap into into that and then maybe push that for silhouette push that leg out with my awesome drawing here so it's not that kind of it's not muddled i mean it's clear too but i think it could be as a pose push potentially but the reason why i'm saying uh, the thing about the pose change is that bound that's bound that also the the sound and the snap into this pose would be more combined and in sync if that makes sense now this is still and step so to me there would be something even though that's in the reference i would probably either go back with this and add in a flourish in the hands maybe or there might be something i'm bumping the mic the mic here it like goes back and something more with the shoulders i know you're going to contrast and there's different movement here but it's also a bit static through this it can also be going back and then going back and then the head does like a, a thing at one point i would still look at some flourishes here and there and break away from the reference like even on something like this, you could have, I don't know, if, you, if it starts here, spitballing here, this could be totally wrong, right? But the head up, and as you go back, the head goes down. Restart to install the latest Windows updates. I don't want this. And it still does it. And then everything gets messed up. This is not part of the review. <laughs> so imagine towards the end, the head is down. And then on this, it's more of a head up arc into this. So we can kind of transition a bit more strongly more strongly oh that's english same thing here i like that it leads with this and then you're gonna have that flourish with that hand and that's not too long it goes into that that's cool see that's cool Bam! where that pose is timed with the sound and i wonder if after this here we can go to something stronger than just that I know he's stomping that leg, but goes into this and then fa -bam, where it's again. I don't know if you want to go higher with the with the root for more stretched out legs and maybe arms out, uh, hands out. Something a bit uh, personally, I feel like something a bit stronger there. And here's the only thing, which is also not super clear in the in the point of view of the of the reference camera. That works. You got the crossing, and maybe I should change my colors can still work it gets a bit muddy there in terms of the silhouette especially through here with all the same colors and stuff I'm not sure about that that gets better i do like that especially with the twist in the body and this maybe once you spline it it will be more clear but then it gets a bit like what is this elbow it's not the best silhouette for an elbow straight at camera and then just the arm goes up a bit and then goes back to the head it's just not as interesting this is where i would completely deviate from the reference and do potentially something different the way it's like Madonna Vogue style where it's like more circling with the hands around the head maybe I don't know just throwing the things out there that gets better because you got a twist you got a nice silhouette that's cool I love that swing around that's great I love that it's also more pushing in the reference 
Love how far low uh, down you go. Love this here. That's a really nice line of action all the way into the fingers. It's really cool. And that's great. Somewhat time to the sound. That's cool. I think that could still have something maybe almost reflecting this pose where you do this, but it's a bit more of a twist with this arm then for the back with maybe the head up more, you know, something maybe a bit stronger. So you have that last energy and like full pose that then drops into just falling versus you're already kind of, oh, like almost like, oh, I got shot uh, versus that's my last dance pose. That's a crafted pose, if that makes sense. And that's that. It's very cool. Lots of nice poses. Yeah, so thoughts, suggestions, and all that good stuff, email me, let me know what you think. And uh, let's move on from there. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.